Okay, so this is going to be a storyboard peekaboo tumbler, and I went through and the inside is glittered and epoxied, and then I assembled it and sealed it at the top rim, and then I went through and I added the decals, and I spray painted it white. This bottom part isn't screwed on yet, well I mean it's screwed on but it's not sealed on, um, and it's all just electrical tape right now, um, because I haven't fully experimented with not leaving the rims exposed. So, um, I am trying something new. I tried it the other day on a regular tumbler, tumbler and I'm trying it today on this. Um, it's a peekaboo tacket. So I already took my tacket glue and I ended up, this, this, this is the tacket glue. And all I did was I screwed it a little on the bottom because I used to try and measure it out and do like the exact amount and it doesn't work that way for me. So I squirted it a little in the bottom and then I added a little bit of water and I mixed it with popsicle stick. Now the biggest mistake that you can do with tacket is to try and apply your glitter before it's dry. So, um, all I'm going to do right now is first make sure it's still mixed up pretty good. Um, you want it to be kind of like a milky sort of color, but not too, too white. And then, like I said, I have electrical tape on here and you're just going to go ahead and start putting it on. I'm hoping that this will be easy to see when I want to peel my decals. And I'm hoping like there's a couple stray, like darker pieces of glitter in here from the last tacket that I did. So I'm hoping that doesn't affect anything either, but we will see. But you just try and coat it evenly, and then you're gonna walk away from it. You want it to be a nice, thin, even coat. And because I have little like cracks in some of my snowflakes, like as far as like it being a peekaboo, you wanna make sure that you really get it in to those areas, otherwise the glitter won't stick. And we're just gonna dip one more time. Hopefully this will be enough. Otherwise, I mean, I have more here. It's just, I find that with Tacket, less is more because It'll dry quicker and you don't have to um, use a whole lot. Like, so what I'll do is I'll end up keeping this cup just sitting here for the next time I need it. And then I'll just add a little bit more water because that's usually all that you need to do. Because like I said, I wasn't exactly precise in my measurements. So it's a little heavy in the baby. It's cold outside part, but that's okay. And I'm actually gonna turn my little space heater on and just let this go for like 10 minutes so that it has a chance to kind of dry a little bit, but you don't want it to have too long to dry. So I'll show you the next step when we're ready. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. I think the tack is ready. I'm like testing it by touching my electrical tape and it feels a little tacky. And as I look it over, it doesn't look like it's got any major like wet spots or anything. Um, I'm using a high brilliant silver. It kind of looks more like a white with some silver in it. Um, I figured it would be a good snow kind of color. So I have my paper here and I poured some in a cup because I need to buy shakers again. <laughs> so all I'm gonna do is kind of do a little line. That's pretty much all I had in the cup because I'm not really planning on using a whole lot more, but we'll see. And then you just very gently start rubbing in it. I try to move the glitter rather than my cup so that I'm not wasting a whole lot. I honestly don't know how this is going to go, but it looks pretty so far. This looks like a mix of like a silver and a white, which is going to be a perfect snow kind of color. And I prefer like using tacket or if the epoxy is tacky, I'll dry rub the glitter on that way too, just because um, if I do it that way, then I'm using less glitter and less epoxy in the long run because the glitter lays flatter and therefore it covers more versus like the Mod Podge method or even like wet epoxy method. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that I just did. Kind of rub it all in, get the surface coated, and then like you can go back and look to see if there's any other areas that need more coverage. But so far this is giving me really good coverage. I'll show you an up close in a little bit. And it's nice because you can still see your decals too, because that's always a challenge when you do glitter peekaboos, is trying to relocate your uh, decals. <laughs> okay, so we're almost back. Let me see if that was enough glitter or if I have to add a little bit more. I'm gonna probably need a little more. Let's see. I like to stretch things. a little bit. I'm 
I'm seeing like up at the top, it's not covering as nice. Like my layer of tacket was probably not as thick up top. So I might have to go back in, but right now I'm not too concerned about it because it's gonna be an overall snowy kind of look. And if some of the white shows through, it'll be okay. Cause I can always use one of those like fairy dust, pixie dust, whatever different companies call it. Unicorn dust, I don't even freaking know. It's the super ultra fine stuff. I have some and I use it when necessary. bit more. I also don't want to like get a whole lot at my top and bottom rim either because it's just a waste of glitter if it gets stuck to your electrical tape. So but I also don't want to like rub it, rub it bare. So I think that's going to be good enough for the coverage part. And I barely used any of that glitter. So let me take this off show you what it's looking like. Move my light a little so you can see. So it's got this nice snowy silvery look going. And my next step is going to be to just kind of let it sit for a minute and then I'm going to go through with my exact, probably my exacto knife or one of my really fine weeding tools to start picking them because you don't want to pick the glitter off. This is one of my areas that I'm, it's not super heavy on the glitter but I think it'll be all right show you the next thing in a minute. Okay, I did not want to make you watch me pick the whole thing because that was really kind of tedious and obnoxious for me too. Um, I'm using this tool. It's, I've been using this, sorry, this part of it um, because it's got a nice angle to it. Um, when I do peekaboo, sometimes like if it's spray paint, I'll pick it with my fingernail just because the weeding tool has a tendency to slip. But um, with glitter, you kind of have to start it and this is really difficult because it's white vinyl on white glitter. So um, I'm hoping I found all my decals. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, but that's just another thing to consider. I should have used my um, removable black matte vinyl um, just because the black would have been easier to find. But that's okay. I think I have more white when I cut these anyhow. So it'll be all right. But once you get it started, it'll be okay because you get bigger chunks. It's like the little snowflakes, like with these little tiny things, they're a pain in the tush because of uh, having to find all the ends and the little snowflake parts like to technically break off. So I just have like a pile of scraps under me and I'm covered in glitter right now, but it'll be okay. I'm gonna fill this with snowflake glitter. And I haven't decided, I saw this one video over the weekend and I was thinking about doing like snow snow not like snow that comes from the sky, but glitter that looks like snow, not just snowflake shapes. I don't know. We'll see. So here you have it. It's all picked off. I do try to blow it off. At this point, if it were a regular cup, I would probably clear coat it, but because it is a storyboard, I don't want to fog up my uh, plastic at all. So what I'm going to probably do, yeah, it's a really cool color shift inside there. It's like a blue green. Um, what I'm going to do next is probably do a clear coat after, quick coat, sorry, quick coat after I, um, get it filled and sealed. So, and Blaze made her appearance and she's tackling the cat right now. So, that's kind of my cue to go. Oh, he's, he's taking that hug like a champ. Mommy, I'm like What about Sooty Buddy? I'm like Sooty Buddy too. I know you like Sooty Buddy. You know what would help is if I was picking the right side of this. That's why it's fighting me a bit. Regardless, it's coming off. One way or another. There we go. Mommy Pongo. There we go. Okay, so next step is going to be to fill it. And then we're going to quick coat it with counterculture. And then um, after quick coat, then it's going to be ready for epoxy. So I'm pretty excited about how this is looking. Okay, so I'm to the point where I'm ready to fill with glycerin and water, and you do equal parts. My glycerin, I used to buy at Walmart in the Band-Aid aisle, but now I have found this vegetable glycerin at a nearby, like, local store. Um, it's called Echo Hill. It's a really great place. It's where I find all my shakers. 
It's run by some Mennonites, I believe. Very, very quality stuff there and reasonable prices. So all I do is do 30 milliliters of glycerin and I take my popsicle stick and I scrape it out. And then I do 30 milliliters of water. Dump them together. When you first do it, it's gonna be really cloudy. You just keep stirring until it's not cloudy. Which is not yet. I always add a little bit of the water and glycerin before I add my glitter, just so my glitter doesn't get like jacked up and stuck in the tippy top. Um, <laughs> Hang on, baby. Mommy will give you a paper towel. Okay, so now Mommy. it's nice and clear. Mommy, I stomped on something. You stomped on something. Go ahead and add this in. I will be right back because we have to wash our hands. All right, hands have been washed. Um, I have a couple different snowflakes that I have here. These are kind of like a pinkish yellow. They came from AC Moore, I think, last year. And then I have these, which are like an iridescent, and they came from uh, Glitter Designs by Two. And then I have white ones that also came from Glitter Designs by Two. Then I have this little tiny sample pack that I wish I had more. Um, this is from um, Confetti Designs Glitter. So I'm going to probably use a little bit of all of them. And then I saw somebody use this in a storyboard before. I might add some of this. If not, I'm definitely going to add some holographic silver or possibly some holographic blue. I think I got these at Michael's last year too. Um, we shall see. So the water level in this right now is right here. So we're gonna just go ahead and start adding some glitter in and then we'll add in more water and glycerin. And hope for the best. Because I mean, so far it's not leaking or anything, so that's cool. But I'm honestly not sure what all I wanna throw in here glitter-wise. Because I want it to look cool, but I don't wanna like overdo it. So, and I wanna save some of these. I don't wanna like use them all. Okay, that's good for that. I'll sprinkle some of these in here. That's not very helpful. You're so cute. Um, a lot of times what I'll end up doing, these peekaboo storyboards use kind of a lot of glitter in comparison to regular storyboards. Um, just because you want to be able to see it, you don't want it all settle on the bottom. Um, what I'll do sometimes is I'll take my popsicle stick and kind of start stirring it down in. If it gets gunked up here at the side, kind of stab it down in a little bit. Um, let's add some more snowflakes. Oh, I didn't even take this part off yet. These are bigger iridescent ones. I feel like something just came out like a chunk of whatever. Doesn't really matter. Okay. The white ones are really going to show up nice in this one. And I think at this point I'm going to add some more water and glycerin just to see where we're at with all the glitter and movement and go from there. So again, we're going to do 30 milliliters and add it into one of your cups. Scrape the inside if you need to. We definitely have some snowflakes still on this popsicle stick, but that'll be alright. So scrape it and then 30 milliliters of water and then stir. A little time consuming but it's so worth it in the end it's gonna look really neat i'm really excited to get epoxy on the whole thing so that i can see what this glitter looks like under epoxy because i literally just got it in so it's pretty clear now i go ahead and dump it wash some of my glitter down Definitely gonna need more water and glycerin, but I cleared off a lot of the glitter that was just hanging out up here. I'm gonna 
touch it too, too much, but you can see it kind of floating around in here. And Blaze is losing the crap about something. So I'm probably gonna have to take another break here. Be right back.